Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14 from verse 15 to 16. Exodus chapter 14 from verse 15 to 16. And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. But lift up your rod and stretch out your hands over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. This morning, I want to speak briefly on what I titled Forward and Upward. Forward and Upward. In the Bible text we've read, which happens to be the theme of our month, the Bible says, tell the children of Israel to go forward. In life, there are some movements that are inevitable. In life, there are some movements that must take place. Human or man cannot dwell without taking a position. In fact, if you don't choose one, the world will choose one for you. You can either go forward or backward. You can either go upward or downward. Again, you can be stagnant. These are situations in life. These are movements in lives that we have to choose. These are movements in life that define us as human. Some might be stagnant. Some might move forward or backward. Some might move downward or upward. But I pray for someone under the sound of my voice today. You will move forward in the name of Jesus. And I say it again. You will move upward in the name of Jesus. And sometimes this movement could come in combo. In statistics, there is what is called permutation and combination. This movement could come in combination. It could come in double-double. That is, it is possible to have one. Again, it is possible to have a combination. I don't know the kind of combination you have seen between forward, backward, upward, downward, or stagnancy. But the one I chose for myself and the one I chose for you is a combination of forward and upward. And that will be your lot in the name of Jesus. We have a story of a man in the Bible. The man Joseph in Genesis chapter 41. Genesis 41 from verse 39 to 45. We are not going to read it. Genesis 41 from verse 39 to 45. Joseph was in prison, but there was a fateful day. A day came, it was his day. That day, he was set free from the prison. And he was taken away amidst the prisoner. That is a means of going forward. However, that was not the end of the story. That very day, Joseph got a job. In fact, a prime one. A chosen job that everybody desired in that nation. That day, Joseph got a wife. That day, he got a home. In fact, he got his career that very day. That is an example of a man that moved forward and move upward. Again, it is possible for a man to move backward and move downward. In 1 Kings 21, 1 Kings chapter 21, from verse 1 to verse 15. 1 Kings chapter 21, from verse 1 to verse 15. There we have the story of Naboth in Israel. The Bible says he planted his vineyard. But one faithful money, he woke up. Everything he has worked for for that year was taken away from him. That is backward. Everything he has worked for 
was taken away from him by the king. And that was not the end. He was plotted against and was killed. While his possessions were taken, that is going backward. However, he went backward and he went downward because he was killed and buried. Again, we have the story of a man. The Bible says he was sick and was laying on the bed for 38 years. That is the story of a man that is stagnant. I don't know the position you have chosen, but I have come to tell you that sometimes your confession brings your possession. Your positive confession or not saying anything is confession. I stand in the place of authority and I speak for myself and for everyone under the sound of my voice. You are only permitted to go forward in the name of Jesus. You are only permitted to go upward in the name of Jesus. Sometimes spoken word can stand and begin to manifest. And that is the reason why it is essential to begin to confess it. It is essential to begin to say it and say, I, Peter, I chose to go forward. I, Peter, I chose to go upward. That is my confession today. The Bible have said it. The pastor have declared it. They have been reading it to my ear. Today, I stand to confess it that in my own territory, in my household, in my home, I chose to go forward. I chose to go upward. And I chose same for you in the name of Jesus. Let's see the power of spoken word. In Exodus Chapter 8, verse 28. Exodus chapter 8, verse 28. So Pharaoh said, I will let you go. It's not that you will not go. I will allow you to go. You want to travel to a foreign land? I will let you travel to a foreign land. You want to start that business? Okay, I will let you start the business. You are going into marriage. You want to start this study, I will let you go. I will let you go that you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only you shall not go very far away. Intercede for me. Pharaoh said, Israel will go. God have told them that you will move out of this slavery. And Pharaoh said, I concur you will go. However, Pharaoh added a clause and said, these people will go, but they will not go far. And sometimes when this spoken word is released, men begin to act to back it up. And let's see Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14 from verse 5 to verse 7. Exodus chapter 14 from verse 5 to verse 7. Now it was told to the king of Egypt that the people had fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and his servant was turned against the people. And they said, why have we done this? That we have let Israel go from serving us. So he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Also, he took 600 choice chariots and all the chariots of Egypt with captains over every one of them. I tell you, after they left, they have not gone very far. Pharaoh said, my word will come to pass over them. I told them that I will let them go, but they will not go very far. So in order to manifest this word, in order to bring this word to fulfillment, Pharaoh now decided and said, have they gone? How far have they gone? They have not gone far. Okay, because I have spoken it, let's bring it to manifestation. And the Bible says Pharaoh chose to chase after them. And in order to bring them back to him, not going far, he used the harm of men and the weapon of men to stop them. I stand in the place of authority. Every harm of men, every weapon of men that want to stop you from going far in the journey of destiny, the Lord of hosts will arise for you. 
in the name of Jesus. I say the God of heaven will arise for you and put an end to their oppressions in the name of Jesus. So when Israel turned and saw Pharaoh, I could, I could imagine the people that were there that day when Pharaoh says, you will go and you will not go far. What we'll be reading in their mind is, okay, it, it has happened. He has spoken it and now he's bringing it to manifestation. Exodus chapter 14 verse 10. Exodus 14 verse 10. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes. And behold, the Egyptian marched up after them. So they were afraid. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. They were afraid, but they did not stop there. The Bible says, despite their fear, they decided to cry out unto the Lord. I don't know that which men are spoken and they are trying to bring to pass in your life. I don't know that that has been said against you that you will go in the journey of life and you will not go far. And you are beginning to see the traces and probably you are in a state of fear. I want to encourage you today to cry unto the Lord. Because that action of crying unto the Lord moved heaven. And there was another word that was released from God. What they were battling with was the word of the king, the word of Pharaoh. However, in Exodus chapter 14 and verse 15, which we read, Exodus 14 and 15, then the Lord spoke. Then the Lord revealed and said, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward over every fear, over every delay, over every form of disappointment. I pray you will hear the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord of going forward will be released unto you in the name of Jesus just as Pharaoh plotted to bring to pass his own word over the children of Israel. After God has spoken, that was not the end of the story. God activated the forces so they could walk to the manifestation of that word. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 19 to 21, after God told them, go forward, and God said, okay, Pharaoh told them they will not go far. And Pharaoh acted with the harm of men, with the chariot of men. God also spoke, and God acted concerning his own word. And the angel of the Lord, went, who went before the camp of Israel, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud went from before them and stood behind them. The next one. So it, ke it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. Thus it was a cloud and darkness to the one, and it gave light by night to the other, so that no one did come near the other all that night. Verse 21, which is the last for now. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. When it was time for God to defend his word, God deployed angels. When it was time for Pharaoh to defend his own word, he deployed men. He deployed chariots. When it was time for God to defend his word, the Bible says he deployed angels. He sent light for them. And sent darkness against their enemy. And the Bible says he used strong wind from the east. Those are things that are beyond the ability of men. Those are things that could work against men, even against nature. I pray for you today. Every area where the harm of men want to stop you, the power of God will arise for you. In the name of Jesus. When God said, go forward... God was ready to back up his word. I don't know that which has been spoken concerning you. Either before your birth 
or during your birth, before you come into a foreign land, before you go into that marriage, before you start that career, before you go into that course, I don't know that which has been spoken concerning you, but I release the power of God to back it up to manifestations in the name of Jesus. Every good prophecy that you are seeing that are dormant, I activate them to life today in the name of Jesus. Forward and upward. When God speaks his word, he owns the ability to back up that word. It doesn't matter what the situation is saying. He said, I can send angels. I can send strong wind. He parted the way. What has never happened before. The testimony or stories that men have never experienced before. God can start from you in order to fulfill his word. Forward and upward. I want to take this story, which I'm beginning to love, and I'm going to end with that story. I've been talking about going forward. I want to talk about going upward or going downward. Second Kings chapter 1. Second Kings chapter 1, verse 9 to verse 10. Second Kings chapter 1, verse 9 to verse 10. Then the king sent his captains of 50 with his 50 men. So he went up to him, and there he was, sitting on the top of a hill. And he spoke to him, Man of God, the king has said, Come down. In the story of the Israelites, it was the king that wanted to stand against the word of God. And this is the story of prophet Elijah. There was a time Elijah prophesied, Concerning the king, he only told them, he told the king, the mind of God. And that was the duty of prophets. The duty of prophets is to hear from God and to say it the way it was. And that was exactly what Elijah did. Elijah said, this is what God told me concerning the king. And the king was not happy because Elijah was discharging his prophetic duties. And the Bible says the king sent men with chariots, just as King Pharaoh sent men with chariots. This time, another king sent men with chariots going to Elijah. The Bible says Elijah was sitting. He was sitting at the top. Can you give me that verse 9? Give me that verse 9. So, he went up to him. There he was sitting on the top of a hill. Elijah was sitting at the top, occupying his position, sitting in the place where he belongs. And the man of the king came to him and said what? Come down. The man of the king said to Elijah where he was sitting and said, come down. How many times as men sent the word of come down to you? How many times have you dreamt and you have had a dream of come down? How many times have you gone for interview and you have received the message of come down? Somebody was talking of awesome. Awesome is another word for come down because it never came to pass. I don't know how many come down men have sent to you. They told Elijah, why he was sitting in his office, why he was doing his own business in the position God has created for him, they asked him to come down. Sometimes you sit in your marriage, operating in your own capacity. Sometimes you start your study, just doing your normal business. Sometimes you just get that job and you are discharging your duty. And some men sit somewhere and begin to plot the word of calm down. Calm down, they told Elijah. Calm down. Calm down from that place. Come down from that place. Every word of come down concerning you. I cancel them today. In the name of Jesus. Come down could resort to deaths. Come down could resort to demotion. Come down could resort to sickness. Come down could resort to academic failure. I don't know what is yours. Come down could be anything. Let's go to verse 10. Let's go to verse 10. So Elijah answered and said to the captain of the fifty. 
if I am a man of God, then let fire come down from the heaven and consume you and your 50 men. And fire came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50s. Who were they expecting to come down? They were expecting Elijah to come down. However, they got more than what they bargained. They were expecting Elijah to jump down from where he was sitting and they, they, so they can take him and take him to the king. However, the word of the Lord came on behalf of Elijah. And instead of Elijah to come down, fire came down. I decree, I speak on your behalf today. Every area that the word of come down has come to you, instead of you to respond, fire will respond on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. They were expecting him to be disappointed. They were expecting him to be put to shame. You know, coming down is going to be a shame if a prophet that was known, a prophet re renounced in the city, if he has been taken by FBI going in the city, and they say, oh, what happened to him? They said, oh, the king asked us to bring him, and the prophet could not do anything. It is going to be a shame if you come down and go back to the country you came from, and people who have known you and say where he was before he came back and you woke up the next morning and you peeped through the window and you saw that cousin and you closed the window again and said no I can't go out it is going to be a shame if people who have known you and said every morning he goes out he goes for a job and after a while you got a termination letter and you are not able to go out again it is going to be a shame if people know that, oh, you are in the university and year in, year out, they are seeing others graduating and they are waiting for you and you are nothing is coming out of it, it is going to be a shame. A voice of calm down to believer is a voice to bring them to ridicule. A voice of calm down to believer is a voice to disappoint them. Imagine you having a marriage and after a while, the man said, brother, what about that sister? I said, ah, it did not work out again. It is going to be a shame. Imagine you having a marriage. And the man said, sister, what happened now? You say, ah, it did not work out again. It is going to be a shame. Every area, maybe you have been ridiculed. Or you are about to be ridiculed. I don't know the face of life you are. That you see that if this thing happens, it is going to be a shame. Even the church will share in this shame. If this thing happen and my family at home hear of this. It is going to be a shame. I stand in the place of authority. Instead of you to come down. Instead of you to be put to shame. The Lord of heaven will arise for you. In the name of Jesus. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. I know when they were expecting him the next day, they were expecting to see crackers. They were expecting to hear the crack of bone. They were expecting to come back and say, we cannot find the remains of Daniel. But the God of heaven went with him. Daniel already was down. He was already down. Maybe there is somebody under the sound of my voice. Your back was already down. And you are saying, man of God, what are you saying? I am already down. I decree the God that went down to the lion's den and brought out Daniel. That God will go along with you and bring you out in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are already in that shame. And you are saying, what are they talking about going forward? I am already down. What are they talking about going on? upward. I am already in this mess. Even in that situation, the word of God will come for you. In the name of Jesus, rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. The voice of calm down is a voice to put believers to shame. The voice of calm down is a voice to ridicule believer. And they say, ah, ah, brother, what happened? We are expecting good news. Sister, what happened? I have been waiting for your graduation. Ah, uh, what happened? I am expecting good news. And you say, ah, uh, don't worry. It's still coming. It's still coming. It's still coming. Every area, every area of shame, every area of ridicule. Maybe you are hearing the world come down. Maybe your own king, like Pharaoh, is chasing you. And you look at it and said, if God did not intervene, this man 
marriage will be taken away from me. If God do not intervene, this visa will be taken away from me. I don't want to go back the same way I came. The God of heaven will arise for you. And we fight for you today. In the name of Jesus. I may not have a prayer point for you. Begin to speak to your life. Uh, begin to decree. Uh, stand as prophet. Uh, stand as authority over yourself. Every voice that said that we go forward and I will not go far. This is a season to go forward. It is a season for me to be congratulated. Every voice that said, men will come and mourn with me. Every voice that says, things I see, I rejoice. I can imagine the day the Israelites were going out of bondage. I can imagine the day the Israelites were going out of slavery. They will be singing, shouting for jubilation. It is going to be a shame if after two days they brought them back to that same slavery again. Ah, it is going to be a shame. It is going to be a disappointment. But the God of heaven arose for them. What are those areas of life that you say, ah, if I don't go forward this month, men will ridicule me. If good news do not come in, in this year, men will ridicule me. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Speak to, speak to the Lord, speak to the Lord. Say, Father, I move forward and I go far in the name of Jesus. Are you speaking concerning your academics? Say, Father, I decree my academics will move forward and it will go far in the name of Jesus. Are you speaking concerning your job? Are you speaking concerning your career? Say, Father, I speak to my job. I will go forward and I will go far. In the name of Jesus, can you prophesy to your marriage? Say, Father, my marriage will go forward. My marriage will go far. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what your immigration status is saying, but there is a God that says you should go forward. Going forward does not mean going back home to where you came from. Say, Father, Lord, I decree I will go forward. I will go far. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Maybe I have been sent to you. Maybe I have been sent to you. And you say, I am already in the mess. Daniel was already in the lion's den. Daniel was already down. There was nothing to be done again. But God stood for him. The Lord arose for him timely. Why not begin to speak and say, Father, maybe you are in that mess. You are already in it. And you say, Lord, this thing is not working. I am already in shame. I am already in reproach. The God that rescued Daniel. Daniel said, my God has sent his angel and he has delivered me. Say, Lord, send your words to me. Deliver and rescue me today. Deliver and rescue me today. Deliver and rescue me today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Get a neighbor for yourself. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. I just trust God that you can do better than this. Five minutes that can transform situation. Five minutes that can wipe away years of tears. Five minutes that can wipe away reproach that could transcend to generation. Say to that your partner, my brother. And if you have a sister, say my sister. Say it again, my brother. My sister, my brother, my sister. Every voice of calm down. Every voice of calm down that is emanating in your life. I cancel them today in the name of Jesus. Every voice of calm down that men might have sent to you, maybe from the country you came from, every power's wickedness in your father's house, in your mother's house, every voice of calm down that said your marriage will not work, that said your pregnancy will come down, that said your finance will come down, that said your academics will come down, that said your visa will come down, every voice of calm down that said in that job, ah, you will come down. I cancel them today. I cancel them today. I cancel them today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray it with all your zeal. Pray it with all your ability. Say, my brother, I stand in the place of authority. Every voice of condemn over you, over whatever pertains to you. I may not know your situation. I may not know what you are embarking on. I may not know what you are battling with, but I stand in the place of authority. Every voice of calm down that says your career will come down. I cancel them today. 
I cancel them today. I cancel every voice of condom that say you will go into debt. Voices that say you will not get job. Voices that say you will not get married. Voices that say you will not have your own children. Voices that say you will not have your own immigration paper. Voices that say you will not be settled. Voices that say you will not have joy. I cancel them today. I cancel them today. I cancel them today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can you speak to the head of that brother you have? Can you speak to the head of that sister you have? Every voice of calm down in your head that says you will stay in the hospital for long. Maybe there is someone online hearing me on the sick bed. I decree by the authority in the name of the Lord. Every voice of calm down over your head. I cancel them today. I speak to your marriage. Every voice that said, this marriage you have seen today will come down. I cancel them today. In the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, every voice of the enemy, I cancel them today. In the name of Jesus. Now begin to prophesy. Begin to speak the voice of go forward. Begin to speak the voice of go upward. I stand in the place of authority. What do I receive for you? I receive the voice of go forward. I receive the voice of go upward. I receive the voice of go forward. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stand in the place of authority. That concerning you. Ah, it is only joyful noise. The Bible says... Good news will be heard in the courts of the righteous. Concerning you, there will be no shame. You will not be put to shame. Every voice of shame, I cancel them. I receive the voice of joy for you. I receive the voice of good news for you. I receive the voice of go forward. I receive the voice of go upward in your household, in your territory. Only upward, only forward is permitted in the name of Jesus. 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 I stand in the place of authority. I pray for you, my brother. I stand in the place of authority. I pray for you, my brother. You will go forward. I pray for you, my sister. You will go forward. I pray for you, my brother. You will go upward. I pray for you, my sister. You will go upward in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Leave that fellow. Finally, I just want to give you one minute. One minute, my time is up. Begin to speak to your own life. Begin to speak concerning your situation. What are those voices of shame that you think, ah, if God do not intervene today, I will be put to shame. The enemy will rejoice. People will ask, where is my God? Lord, arise for me. Arise for me. I don't know what come down represents in your life. Maybe it is over your head. The enemy has said, come down. And you are seeing the manifestation of come down. I don't know, maybe it is over your marriage. Situations you are seeing. You are saying, ah, if God do not intervene in one or two years, this marriage will be taken away from me. I don't know what the traces you are seeing concerning your job. Maybe you do not even have a job. And you say, ah, if this situation continue for two to three months, I will be put to shame. I don't know what immigration has sent to you. And you said, ah, I have 90 days. If God do not intervene, I will be put to shame. Every voice of calm down that could bring shame to your earth, that could bring shame to your marriage, begin to cancel them today. Begin to cancel them today. There is power in spoken word. There is power in spoken word. Either positive or negative. Be the prophet over your life today. What do you want? What do you want to see? How do you want the week to go? We still have few more days to the end of the month. So many things can happen in the remaining days in the end of the month. Lord, let my going forward start from now. In the name of Jesus, I chose to go forward. I chose to go upward. I stand in the gap for my household. That for the family of Ajay, we only chose to go forward. The Bible says joyful noise will be heard in the territory of the right just, I speak in the place of authority. No, no bad news is permitted in my home. I secure my marriage. I secure my career. I secure my ministry. In the name of Jesus, I will never come down. 
every voice of calm down, just as the adversaries of Elijah, they got the fire of the Lord. Every voice of calm down over my marriage, every voice of calm down over my academics, every voice of calm down over my career. Today, instead of me to calm down, let the fire of the Lord come down to consume them. In the name of Jesus. Rema Leka Reba Sheka.